Conrad de la Fuente will join French side Olympique Marseille after spending eight seasons at Barcelona playing at every level. The U.S. player leaves the club in a transfer for reportedly 3.5 million euros for the 50% of his rights. De la Fuente only played 17 minutes last year with Barcelona's first team. And to speak about his transfer, we now welcome our colleague live from Barcelona, Sam Marzen. Sam, welcome to the show. It's good to talk to you. Um, let me put it this way. What are the details of the transfer? And is this actually good news for Conrad de la Fuente? Thank you for joining us. Good evening, guys. Yeah, I think you explained it pretty well there. So, so Conrad set to leave Barcelona. The official announcement is expected to come this week once the, the final details and formalities have all been completed and he sort of travelled up to Marseille, to France for that for that medical to finalise the move. We're looking at a fee of around sort of 3.5 million euros. There have been sort of negotiations about that. Barcelona were holding out more for, for 5 million. It's been a little bit complicated because Barcelona like to... They like to include buyback clauses when they when they sell these players, but in France that's not that's not an option. The clubs aren't allowed to have you know these these release clauses that all players have in Spain, and they're not allowed to have have buyback clauses. So they've had to sort of find a, a workaround there, which is what they've sort of come up with with you know a large percentage of the of the future any future transfer. Which obviously, if if it is coming back to Barcelona, would mean they'd sort of get 50% off what the what the market price price would be. Uh, Sam, as Mauricio rightly put there, he's, he's been there eight seasons. He's played at every single level, yet he hasn't cracked into the first team lineup or, or rotation. Uh, what's been missing with Conrad de la Fuente? What's the issue here? Or is it simply put, competition is better? Yeah, I mean, it's competition. I don't think there's anything is missing. I mean, Conrad is still just 19. He's not 20 until, until July. So he's still very, very young. His progress over the last 18 months has been has been much quicker than the club expected. He was playing for the, the under-19s when sort of the, the pandemic struck and then he sort of accelerated into the B team and it was never really expected for him to be around the first team as much as he was this season. He was effectively training with the with the first team all season. He made two appearances in the Champions League. He he earned a senior call-up to the to the US national team, made his debut against Wales in November and he, he got some more minutes in the Copa del Rey. He's been an unused substitute in the in the league on on 19 occasions in half of half of Barca's game, so he didn't quite have that that trust of of Ronald Koeman to, to to play more. But it was it was unexpected for him to to play at this level this season. Um, and we we spoke to him in ESPN sort of in May, and he sort of spoke about the difficulties. It's not easy when you're when you're training with the first team every week, and then you sort of for the weekend you you play with the B team. You know you've not been involved in the preparation. Um, you're a little bit aside from all of that, so it's been it's been a difficult season for him, as well as obviously a huge season in terms of learning. When you're when you're training every day with with a coach like like Ronald Koeman for for any faults that he may have, but with players like Lionel Messi, with experienced players like Sergio Busquets, Gerard Piquet, with you know wingers who play his position like you know Usman Dembele, Antoine Griezmann, it's been it's been a huge season for him, and he's he's really really developed much quicker than Barca expected, but. Barca's financial situation and the, the competition for places. They've obviously signed Sergio Aguero and Memphis Depay this, this summer already, who will be competing for attacking places. Just mean it makes sense for the club and for the player to, to look for another move. Now, Sam, was the French Liga, the league on his best option? Do you think that's the right place for his development? I think it's a good option, yeah. I mean, the, the most important thing now, turning 20, is to go out and go to a club where he, he can play minutes. Um, I must confess, I don't, you know, know Marseille inside and out. I don't know how how many minutes he's going to play, what the competition like for places is going to be, how they're building up over the summer. They've obviously got, you know, American and American only. You know, Jorge Sampaoli is the is the coach there now. So it's a coach who, you know, likes attacking players who who wants to play attacking football. So it's a, it's a good coach for for Conrad if he gives him minutes. In terms of the league, I think. I've spoke with a lot of people about Conrad over over the years about his development and where he'd perhaps best be suited. And there's always been a lot of interest from from Germany. There was always a suggestion that you know he'd be a really good fit there. We obviously see a lot of Americans go go to the Bundesliga and do well. And there's been a lot of interest from Germany in Conrad in the past. That uh, he almost moved in. I can't remember the the years at the end of that 2019-20 season before he signed his his Barcelona contract because, you know, that, that progress, they weren't quite sure if it was there and then it sort of speeded up in that six months and they, they managed to convince him to stay rather than rather than moving to Germany at that time. He signed the new deal on the on the promise of, you know, being in the B team and, and some first team sort of training, if not guarantees over action. But yeah, I think the French league, I think it's a I think it's a good league for youngsters to to play and we see them get chances. We see a lot of 
mainly French players, but, you know, players coming through League One and then getting chances in, in other leagues at, at, at bigger clubs. And Marseille are, are a big club as well in, yep. in France. It's going to be, you know, it's not like he's moving to a small club. This is a huge club with, with huge responsibility. So having been at Barcelona should, should set him well for that. But this isn't, uh, this isn't you know, going to like a small club. This is, this is, this is a really big move. And I think it's a, a good move for him at this stage in his career um, at the risk of looking, looking silly in a year if it all goes wrong. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.